Indiana Jones is one of the most beloved characters in film history. His fedora, his crumpled leather jacket, trusty bull whip are iconic film images. The sight of any one of them, along with four notes from John Williams' score, can elicit actual emotion. The original Raiders of the Lost Ark was a remake of Secret of the Incas, a 1954 film starring Charlton Heston. It was a film in the tradition of movie serials of the early 20th century. Heston's character, Harry Steele, was a rugged tour guide in search of hidden treasure, outfitted in the same gear as Indiana Jones. Spielberg and Lucas were all too aware of this film and the tradition of film serials. They grew up watching them as children and never outgrew their love of the format. Indeed, Harrison Ford, born in 1943, also loved the ideal of swashbuckling adventure. As a child of Buster Crabbe, Walter Reed, and Jock Mahoney, Ford loved the ideal of fighting Nazis and saving the day. The first Indiana film is a classic. The blocking, the edits, the three-act structure are as tight as a drum, since Spielberg and Lucas has the earlier Heston film as a template and a large budget due to their successes with Star Wars and Jaws. Raiders of the Lost Ark was a light, jaunty adventure film with just enough dark notes to give the story dramatic heft. The result was one of cinema's great achievements, a film with mass appeal and artistic value. The Dial of Destiny is a shadow of that event, a cruel faded memory of greatness past and glory half forgotten. One would wish that the filmmakers would leave well enough alone and take their final bow, but glory is a seductive mistress. The great boxer Muhammad Ali fought until he was a shell of himself, a bad parody of the shining brilliant pugilist we had seen for decades. Shuffling fat-footed, his hunter's glaze replaced with a dull workmanlike stare. Ali carried on until he could fight no more, until his blazing hands and tongue were stunted by abuse and father time. Filmmaking is more forgiving than pugilism, but glory is just as fleeting.